Welcome to the homework for lesson 14. This is module 6 of first grade. Write your name here first, please. And it's more solve and show your work. Uh, the method that you choose is up to you. Uh, but you do have to show your work. And uh, I'm going to do I'm going to do almost all maybe all number bonds, but different methods, different ways to use number bonds. There's probably Oh, there's got to be five or six different ways that we practiced them in class and, and in uh, past homework assignments. And there may be even other ways that we haven't done yet. Maybe you have your own way. Uh, as long as it works uh, and you can show your work, then uh, then it's a, it's a good method. So here we have 68 plus 21. And I, I see whenever I see an 8 or I'm usually I'm looking at the ones digits to figure out which strategy is going to work the best. Uh, I see an 8 here so I'm, I just want two more to get it up to the next 10. And so the rest of the 21, the other part of this number bond, is going to have to be 19. <clears throat> and I want to get this, up. whenever I see an 8 or a 9 in the ones place and sometimes a 7 for one of the add ends, I'm, gonna, I'm going to want to use a strategy like this to make the next 10. And when I say making the next 10, I'm talking about the numbers you say when you count by 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and so on. 100, 110, and up to 120, and 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 so on. So I'm looking to make those numbers first because it just makes some easy addition. 68 plus 2 more. There's a 70, right? And I'm looking, I'm using what I, uh, the partners to 10 that I've been practicing so much all year. So I should be good at these and recognizing them, especially with eights and nines. You're looking for ones and twos, right? So there's my 70. And now I'm just adding to 70 plus that 19. So I can see how many tens I need. Eight, seven plus one is eight, and then I know I just looking at this nine. That's the other one doesn't have any ones, so this add in has nine that has all the ones that I need. Eighty nine, fifty nine, and plus thirty two. Fifty nine is really close to sixty, so it just needs one more to get to sixty, and that means my other uh, part of this number bond is going to be one less than thirty two. It's going to be thirty one. So I have 59 plus the 1 makes the 60. And then the 60 plus the 31 equals 91. 91. Now you may be, it may be that you're doing these in your head now. And you feel like you don't have to write them down, but you do. Because it says to show your work. So I see a 9 here, so I'm going to work on this 44. I'm going to, I need 1 to get this 39 up to a 40. So it's 1 and 43. So 39 plus 1 is 40. And 40 plus 43, And 58 plus 36, I see an 8 there, so I need 2 from this 36 to make it a 32 and 34. And 58 plus 2, 60. And 60 plus 34, 94. 76 plus 17. Now, maybe you liked this, if you like the strategy, even more than I do, you might just try this and say, well, I just need three more to make that 17 to 20. Or I need four more to make this 76 and, uh, into an, an 80. You could do that. But I, I really, I think this strategy works, really does work better with, um, with just eights and nines and sometimes sevens. But I, I really don't want to be doing it with with sevens, but here's an example of it because I'm just going to show it. This would be 3 and 73. So we have 17 plus 3 makes 20, and then 20 plus the 73, 93. Most of the time with sevens it will work, but sometimes it won't. Sometimes with sevens uh, it, it gets a little more complicated than, than it's worth. So here's an 8, 
26 at 2 and 24, 68 plus 2, 70, and then 70 plus the 24, 94. 56 plus 39, that 39 is almost 40. It needs one more, so 55 and 1. And I'm going to say 39 plus 1. Sorry, this is a really sloppy 55 over here. Let me fix that. There. And this is a 1. So 39 plus 1 is 40 and 40 plus 55 equals 95. 58 and 29, we have an 8 and a 9 here. Well, when I have both of them, I'm going to choose to break up the 8 because it's just so much easier to work with 1. 57, so 29 plus 1 is 30. And 30 plus 57 is 87. And just more of the same. And oh, look, my ones digits actually make a 10 here. So this is a, this is a case where I'm going to take the 39. And it wouldn't matter which one I split up for this. 30 and 9. And here I can just take the 41 plus the 9. That's going to make the next 10. 50. And you could also look at this and say, oh, look, there's a 9. and you, But you already have the 1. So it would be 1 and 40. Okay. However, you, no matter how you do it, it's still going to work out to be um, as long as you use number bonds, it's going to work out to be two pretty easy number sentences to get to get you there. And then, so now I need the 50 plus the 30. 80. And there's another way to do these, too, when you see those partners to 10. And if, if it shows up again later, and it will, uh, I'll, 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 show you the, I'll show you that method. So here we go, uh, 48 and 43, 48 just needs two more to be a 50, so 2 and 41, and let's make that 48 plus 2 for 50, and 50 plus 41 for 91. And now here's that other case I was talking about, 7 and 3 make 10. So we could just do this. Um, you could add the 7 plus the 3, 10. You can write the 80 plus the 10, 90. And then the 10 plus the 90, 100. And uh, that's like meant, it's a better description, really, of mentally how you would do that because you see that 73. And you think, oh, that's a 10. And then here's another 10. So that's two 10s. And two 10s and eight 10s, that's 10 10s. That's 100. And mentally, that's how maybe how you might think of it in, in that order. And so this is just a way to write it down in using number sentences, using equations to write down the steps that you did in your head. And that's how you show your work. That's how you show your mental math. You can also do that with the arrow way. Um, and if that if this comes up again, I get another chance, um, and I probably won't. Uh, I'll 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 just go back to show the arrow way for another example. All right, so we have fifty nine and twenty five. That fifty nine is almost a sixty. So fifty nine plus one equals sixty, and sixty plus twenty four equals eighty four. 65 plus 27. Now that's just, there's this 27 here, and a 65, and um, I'm just going to break up this 27 into 20 and 7. 65 plus 20 
is 75 and 75 plus 7. The 7 I could think of as a 5 and a 2 because I want, I'm thinking here's a 5. If I had another 5, I'd make 10 with it. That would make 80, and then 2 more would be 82. Or you could just count up from 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, and 82. And that's your 7 more for 82. Now, that's something about that doesn't look right. I'm looking at 82, and I'm thinking, well, if I started with 65, if I added just 20 to the 65, it should be 85. But I added 20. I added even more than that. I added 27. And I don't even have 85. So I must have made a mistake here somewhere. That's just not right. So let's look back at this. Um, I know I counted up that 7, so that's got to be right. The 65 plus 20, that shouldn't be 75. That, um, that should be 85. So let me fix that. That should be... There, let me just really fix it. That should be 85. And then let me go back and I'm going to have to fix this. And then it's 85 plus the 7. And I can still think of that 7 as 5 and 2, which gets me to 90 and 2 more. So this should be 92. And I'll fix that in my answer up here, too. There. 27 plus 67. Uh, let's see, what have I done so far? I haven't done any arrow way yet. So um, maybe you uh, maybe you really like 7 plus 7. That's a double. You're really good at your doubles, and you want to use that. Well, here's an example where you could use that. You could just, just to do it, just to show a different way to do these. Uh, I could start with the 7 plus 7, because I'm looking at these ones digits, and I'm thinking I know 7 plus 7, because I know all my doubles. So I can do this arrow way and say 7 plus the 7. That's 14. And then I'm looking at, to really do this, I should show the number bonds. For both numbers and now I have to add the 20 and the 60 so I'm going to add the 20 34 add the 60 94 and there's lots of different ways to do it like if you like air away you could also done it you could have started with the tens and started with the 20 plus the 60 and done this which is how a lot of us would do it in our heads. And then plus 7, 87, plus 7 again, 94. It could have looked that way too. It's just the airway is really just the way you do it in your head. So start off where you would start off and just keep, you know, doing, adding and drawing those arrows. 94. And here we have uh, 49 and 39. Now you could do your double strategy again like I just showed. Or we could just say that, well, we just need one more to make that 49 a 50. So this would be 38. And I'm going to have 49 plus 1 equals 50. And 50 plus 38 is 88. 88 and 38 plus 58 here's one where you, you might do uh, you might do the arrow way again right you say like hey and there's my double I know double eight but this is also uh, you know eights are also we're looking for two we're looking for two more so we could have two and 36 so we have 58 plus 2, 60, and 60 plus 36. Just looking at these tens digits there, 6 plus 3, 
six tens plus three tens is nine tens. And for my ones, I'm looking at zero plus six, that's six. Ninety-six. And I want to do one last check. Go through, make sure I wrote down answers for everything. Good, looks good, looks good. Got, oh, I missed one. Here we go. Got to get that 94 in here for that one there. And, yep, and make sure you got your name on here, too, if you don't have it there already. 